you got your start uh, as an actor, you started doing summer stock. Is yes. that right? And is that something that a lot of a lot of actors do? I you, think you, it's you, kind of a throwback. I think I'm a bit of a throw. Yeah, I, um, when I was in college, every summer I would work for free or at a different theater, a summer stock theater in the country, and you would um, just be an apprentice. You'd build the sets and you'd make the costume and you know hang the lights and sell the tickets and and sometimes you'd get to be on stage. So you just did it. To be honest. And who did you, did you live in dormitories? How does that work when you do summer stock? Different, different places, different things. Timberlake Playhouse in Illinois, I lived in a little shed behind the theater. That I just got room and board. So that wasn't so right. exciting. Except I also got the Coke machine money at the end of the summer because I was the company person. And then at the Barn Theater in Augusta, Michigan, I lived with Trish and Priscilla Buckholtz for $35 a week. And at the Georgia Shakespeare Festival, I lived in a dorm. It does sound sort of like vaudeville, like the old days. Yeah. And wh wh what kind of person were you when you were doing this? Because you seem like you're such a, uh, like you'd be a, a to, you'd do a real good job. You'd be earnest, you'd try hard. I was, I did. As a matter of fact, my parents visited me at the Barn Theater and the owner of it came out and told my mom I had just been in, on stage in a production and she told her what a nice job I did. But my mom's proudest moment was she said, that I was the best bathroom cleaner they'd ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she didn't care yeah. how you were in King Lear. That didn't no, matter. No, that didn't, that didn't really matter. Do so it you really got it. that yes, bathroom clean. I really clean. got the bathroom clean. But at that place, it was weird. I went through a weird. I didn't drink. I was never a big party girl. But I, um, I streaked. You streaked. <laughs> yeah. You streaked. You took yeah. off all, all your clothes no, and ran. Why? But I mean. I had Were you on medication? I mean, what? No, I just was in a naked frame of mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we. I just. I don't think I was the only streaker, but I might have been the leader of the streakers, <laughs> and we just all streaked all summer. I, after the show, late at night, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know why we're talking about this, but I did, I did it, I did it. I think you wanted to get this out for a long time, and I think I, you felt like this was a safe environment. Uh, yeah, definitely. You you don't would, tell my parents. No, you would take off your clothes and streak. That's pretty stunning. It's it doesn't, so it doesn't seem like you at all it to doesn't. just do that and run I, around it was, naked. It was, I mean, it must have been six or seven years ago. Yeah. So I. I <laughs> <laughs> it was probably those Buckholtz girls. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's it what it was. was. Yeah. But haven't, doesn't that, don't you guys ever, I mean, I feel like I've seen, whew, just What? Like, what are you talking about? The two no. of you? Two of us what? You don't do ever just get the urge? To do what? Take your clothes off? Oh, I thought you meant the other thing. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we never, I have never streaked in my life. I've never been naked in my private life. <laughs> I was always encouraged to be clothed at all times. <laughs> okay, Andy, good. what about you? You were... I don't I don't mind the nudity, but it's the movement that's the problem. <laughs> oh, if I'm gonna be naked time. outside, I'm gonna be pretty stationary. It's <laughs> probably a better idea. That's good. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I've seen Nandy naked, but in a Barker lounger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then well, he just gets yeah. pulled on a rope. Uh, <laughs>